Op een warm dag in Kaapstad is die vooruitzicht om in een volgepakte minibus taxi te klim nie baie aanlokkelijk nie. Gelukkig is daar nou daarom een alternatieve optie. Uh, they fun, they great, they... Uh, I'll quote, I, don't, I won't know their names, but guys will get in and be like, hey, I feel like I'm on holiday. Tuk Tuk's, the standard driewheel vervoer middel in India and in Southwest Asia, is now ook op Kaapse straten te besweer. James Clarence and a paar vrienden het in September van jaar die Monarch Tuxi Company na Kaapstad gebring. En, soos James verduidelik, bied dit 'n ideale alternatief vir openbare vervoer in die moederstad. It's a much better view from here than I would get from a normal cab. You get to see Cape Town in a completely different way. Uh, it's different. You don't everyone has been in a car, everyone's been in a bus, everyone's been in a taxi. Uh, this isn't that. And it gives you that something different and something that you enjoy it. So, I mean, like I said, why wouldn't you want to get one of these? What James and Tuxi is not more unique, Mark, is who you have to pay for. We, we operate a very different type of, of model. We are terming our industry the private transport industry. We're not in the public transport industry. We're not a taxi service. We operate on a private transport service whereby <clears throat> general public, when they enter into our vehicles, they are presented with a shareholder register. They sign that form. They agree to buy a share into the Monarch Taxi Company. As a shareholder, by definition, a business owner, we can transport a business owner in their vehicle. Uh, so that, that is how we operate uh, our type of service. Um, very similar to the same concept you would get uh, as a, a CEO of a company that has a company car and gets driven around by a driver. Uh, our shareholders, business owners, have the use of their vehicle, the tuk-tuk, uh, to take them to from A to B. Exact same concept. Daar gaan natuurlijk struikelblokke wees vir enige nieuwe onderneming. En vir die Monarch Tuxi Company is daar geen uitsondering nie. You'd see these vehicles, they stand up, so you're going to see them. Uh, and you see people going from A to B, and then you, you see a transfer of money, and you're like, well, that looks like a taxi service. But as I've explained, we operate that share model, uh, and that is how we operate in, on our taxis. And people, I think, are being... Uh, are confused or misunderstood around our operations compared to what others have done and and they they question it and obviously they they can you know you can you can scare someone quite easily when you say you know you're going to get fined if you don't have this operation license so you ondanks die uitdagings is die belangstelling in die nuwe vervoerdiens volgens James baie positief en glo hy dat hierdie klein driewiel motorkies nog lank in die moederstad te sien sal wees we, the reception that we got, and again, I, I won't know numbers, but massive uptake on Facebook, uh, massive uptake on Twitter. Uh, you know, we've got gone from, you know, being supported largely by your backpackers, by your guest houses, by your hotels, uh, by your locals. We've got a BBM group that the guys can get hold of us. We've got, I mean, we, I, I answer the phone with the people by name now uh, that they've just really enjoyed the service.